when you're waiting um, side stage before you go on, so there's a five of us, and we go right, right in the, and um, Francesco will, will say, guys, you ready? And then he makes a sign, it's front of the house, lights come down. You can't describe what that, what it's like, that moment is, is like. And uh, so last night when that happened, and obviously the crowd knows something's gonna happen, and everybody cheers, and they're all going, then you just straight away, the pressure's off, and you just know that you can go, you, you know that you're already there, you've already got the crowd are already on your side. Go out there and it's just a lot of fun. I think the thing about going on stage is such an alien thing. The feeling now is an amazing feeling, I love it. I just really enjoy it, I can't wait to get out there. That wasn't always the case. In the in the early days, I was, it was terrifying. I think a lot of it has got to do with how confident you are, not just in yourself, but with the band. No, probably back to 2014, when when I really got confident on stage. And every time you go on, you learn and you get you get better, at, and you understand what to do. Thanks so much. Yeah. Grazie mille. Grazie yeah, mille. Grazie mille. It's hard, look, my brain's obviously struggling enough as it is, <laughs> okay, oh, Gavin feeding me naughty Italian phrases in the background. <laughs> Coming back to Italy, I know what the Italian fans are like, and so I'm going on stage and I, I kind of know what to expect. Although last night, I think it was because for a lot of people it was the first show in a long time. There was that sense, you could sense that, not only that relief and happiness and joy, all our crew, they're all Italian and they're helping me out with this piece of paper. Are you ready? Alzate la mano, si, e el vostro primo show dopo tanto tempo. No, it is for us too, so thank you so much. Every time I do feel the emotion what was going through my mind when I wrote it. And I, did, I think if you didn't have that, it would be quite a cold, not a very particularly enjoyable experience to, to do. It's really, really hard to describe what it's like, what it's like. And it doesn't matter whether, what, how many people are in the crowd, you just go, you just give it everything. There's a particular bit in the final thing on my mind, um, which is, which when I start singing, I don't know why, but it always makes me almost like get Emotional, you know, when I'm singing it. I don't know why. I don't know why. Like this kind of touring where we're all together on the bus with the crew. When you get back to the bus after a show and all the crew come in, it's just really good fun. During the day, everyone's talking to each other, sound check, we're having a laugh. I'm talking to Simon at the desk and it's like blah, blah, blah. And, but when you go on stage and before you go on stage, you, we all like do a, you know, just bump fists and go, right, see you on the other side. And that's what it's like, see you on the other side. See you on the other side because no matter what happens in that 90 minutes that we play, um, you can't, you can't talk to each other like you would normally, you're, but you're all in this zone together, you're all in this place together. The front of house, the lights, everyone, all of us in the band. So when you come off stage, that's the only time you can actually have a release. So everyone's like going, oh yeah, Bruce, you, really, you did that bit. And, or did you see that person at the front going mad? So you get back at the release and you have a laugh and you talk about it. Then you come on the tour bus with all the crew and then you you, you, go, you talk to the crew and, and, and go through the whole night and show photos and things like that. So yeah, that's part of the touring and tour bus life that I love. How did we let it get this cold? 